So you want to buy your first guitar, but you've got no idea what you want. Hopefully I can help out. So my first suggestion is just try and get your hands on a guitar. Doesn't matter how, it could be a friend's guitar, or one from school, one in a guitar shop. You just want to get something in your hands to start with because then you get a feel of what it is like to hold a guitar. They're all very different. So you've got different neck shapes, different weights, different sizes. It's all quite important to get a feel for it before you go ahead. So this one's a pretty common shape. It's a single cutaway guitar. You'll see a lot of these. Normally Gibsons and this one in particular is an Ibanez. This is another pretty common shape. It's pretty standard. This one's a Jackson. This is my first guitar. And this one is my main guitar these days. It's my Dean Cadillac. And it's kind of a mixture of an Explorer with a single cutaway. Have a look and see what an Explorer looks like. It's kind of a Z shape. Anyone interested? The reason I've got this little bit of foam up here is to stop these strings vibrating when I record, because I do a lot of recording with this one. So as you can see, lots of different shapes. So best to get hold of one, see what it feels like, see what you like. So my next point is don't buy the cheapest of the cheap, but also don't buy the most expensive. If you buy the cheapest, you're going to outgrow it very quickly. But if you buy the most expensive and you decide you don't want to play anymore, it's quite an expensive thing. So my first guitar was probably about 200 pound-ish mark. So not, as I say, the cheapest of the cheap. And it kept me going for a good three years or so. Definitely spend a little bit more for something of nicer quality. The only exception to that might be if you're buying for someone who's smaller. They'll have smaller hands and be still growing. And as they grow, they'll require a full-size guitar. And this next point's more opinion than a steadfast rule. I would say if you're left-handed and you've never picked up a guitar, try and play a right-handed guitar. There's a lot more available and also having your left hand as your fretting hand can be a benefit. Being left-handed means your left hand's gonna be stronger and more used to moving. So being left-handed myself, I found using my left hand as my fretting hand, it was a lot stronger and had a lot more dexterity in it than it would have been if it was my right hand. So. I started off with a right-handed guitar, learnt through it, even though I'm left-handed and I've benefited from it. So another quite important thing is buy something you like. Don't buy something just because it's what everyone else is buying. You want to be kind of proud to pay the instrument. You don't want to just be like, oh, I've got this guitar. Great. You want to be like, oh yes, I really like the colour, I like the shape of it, it makes me feel good playing it. So buy something that you like or for someone buy something for someone that they like. So another very important thing when you're buying your first guitar is make sure you buy a tuner and you learn how to tune at a very basic level. So you can either have one that plugs in, I've had this one 10 years, still works absolutely fine, or you can get ones that clip on the top and they just clip on the top of the headstock, you play the string and it'll tell you what the note is on there, very useful. If you can't have one of those or you've forgotten it or lost it, there's a lot of phone apps these days as well that do exactly the same thing. You turn on the app, play your guitar, and it will tell you what the string is. Hopefully you found that useful. If you've got any more questions, comments or anything, leave them below. I'll try my best to answer them, and I'll see you soon.